아가씨 아저씨 이게 뭐야? Hello everybody, Agashi here today with the Thai drama review. So this drama is called Den d u a h e r u Thai or the English title which is like a star in my heart, the star in my heart, something like that. Well, this is actually a remake for 2020. So there was the 1996 version and the 28 version. I watched the 28 version. That was long ago. <laughs> it's been almost 10 years. Or has... Oh, no, it's been more than 10 years. Yeah. So, um, this... I don't know how many episodes there is, but this is a remake of it. And, um, obviously the same, um... What's the word? The same synopsis and everything, which is a little bit updated information, and they do update a lot of stuff. Literally, from the 1996 was different compared to the 28 and the um, the 28, 28, 2008, and then there's this one, which is like updated. So it's more wardrobe updated and a little bit more stuff added to the story. So I do know the story, um, the story of it already. So by watching it, I kind of know what the hell is going on. So all this stuff like that, but um. I was able to watch the first two episodes to see how it turns out for this version. So I will be going over the cast with you guys, the synopsis in the first two episodes with you guys. So if you guys like this video, hit thumbs up and subscribe. So as for the cast, excuse me for my Thai pronunciation, but I will be um, just pronouncing the first part of their name and then you guys can read the caption here. But we have Tick. Yes, I understand he's very old, but... I don't know, they pick him, but uh, don't get me wrong, he's a good actor. I like him, I like a lot of his drama, so it doesn't bother me. But uh, Tiki plays P. Cat or King r a s i m a n and then we have Kimberly playing Princess t a s i k a and then we have Pope uh, Tangung playing Prince Titaton. Titaton, that's not his name, <laughs> but yes, there's that. And then we have Tisha playing Princess Manisala, and then Uh, um, I think Joy, she plays uh, Mina, and then um, what is it? Uh, uh, Warangang playing um, Krawang, and then we have a lot of other people playing like other characters too. But those are like the main ones that we revolve, we see around. So as for the synopsis, this story is about three kingdoms. Uh, <coughs> Gasi is ruled by King Rasima, which is the wealthiest and most powerful, but they lack a sea route. Uh, for this reason, King Rasima has placed a political wed, uh, political alliance to get to marry Princess uh, Manisala in Tantan in order to create this water route. However, if Gas, uh, the kingdom Gasi and the kingdom Tantan does be reunite and become one, Batura will be the isolated one. So for this reason, the three kingdoms, like, you know, has been very suspicious of each other, but because Gasi is going to try to be aligned with Tantan, it's going to put Batura in a very tough situation. So Princess uh, Manisala decides to run away during her uh, journey to uh, Gasi to marry uh, King Rasima and because she heard stories that King Rasima is a very horrible person and Gasi is nothing like how her kingdom looks like so as she ran away she actually gets uh, trapped and falls into the rescue of Prince uh, Tiyu t a n t o n which is the older brother of, of um, Princess uh, Tasika who is also the new ruler of uh, Batura and so upon hearing the news of um, Princess um, Manisela's uh, disappearance and learning that it's linked to um, her brother Princess Tasika she starts to settle things and tries to you know work things out and make sure that her brother does not cause any war between the three kingdoms in process of doing so uh Tasika gets uh, kidnapped by uh, King Rasima and he ends up taking her as hostage in trade from uh, Manisala and she ends up being taken all the way back to um, Gasi with him and throughout all this time he ends up falling for her and she ends up falling for 
him and when it was not supposed to happen and her brother ends up falling for Princess Manisela. <clears throat> so the drama starts us off obviously getting to see introduced to each kingdom and everything like that and we get to see that um what is it king rasima he likes to, he is very very different from the rumors that has been spread out and he's actually a very nice king and he actually wants to help his people so he is out there trying to you know take care of his people and all this stuff like that you know he's not room like they see and he has actually crossed path to go into um Patsura to see how things are over there and he has actually seen Princess Tasika into the village and you know doing a lot of things and you know he's like in a way he kind of likes her right from the start and so um during this time of all these things, um, Princess uh, Manisela, she's on her way on a boat to um, the kingdom. And she doesn't want to go. She cries as she doesn't understand why she has to go and marry him. So, you know, uh, she decides to let me change and dress into some servant person and run away. This is my chance to run away. So, during this time with uh, Princess Manisela on the run, her brother is... um um. Tessica's brother, he's actually out there and uh, her mom informs her that she has to go get her brother and in a way also have to kind of stop this because um, if <clears throat> Tantan and Gussie does get together, it's like the whole synopsis I tell you guys, it's the whole, literally the synopsis explain everything. So, you know, if they reunite, then um, Patura is left with nothing. So she goes out there and during this time, her brother ends up res not rescuing but the princess fell into his place and then he finds out she's the princess and she doesn't want to go back and he ends up taking her in and he be, ends up being nice to her so that's like the, this side is their side of the story and for um, Tasika she's out there trying to you know find out all these stuff trying to stop all these stuff stop war and all stuff like that from happening and they reunite all stuff like that and the, her people soldiers stuff didn't pay attention to her when King Rasima he had actually smuggled in and became one of her disguised as one of the servant um kind of drugged her and kidnapped her she woke up she is now with a different troop not with her people anymore she's confused she doesn't know what's going on and she finds out from Krawan which is the maid servant who has to take care of her that she has been taking in with them and she does all these things trying to escape but she cannot escape and then she gets taken away by King Rasima as he's trying to basically he hears rumor that her brother has taken his bride to be so he's going to take her and in order to make peace they're gonna have to trade off both girls so during this process this is when all the love stuff like that starts to spark and starts to happen and a lot of things happen and all these stuff like that <coughs> so that was a rough recap for you guys as obviously the synopsis explained already of what the drama is and basically going throughout the drama a lot of things are about to happen as obviously you know they do end up bringing Tatsika back to um, Gasi and there's Mina over there who is in love with um, King Rasima who he does not see anything in her and she challenges Tatsika for a lot of things knowing Tatsika she's a very strong person her personality her character so she does not say no and she will not fail as she has to make her country proud so honestly her character is stubborn very very stubborn and um but in the in the process of doing all this stuff like that you know king rasma he just falls more and more in love with her as like he loves her as the way she is you know and then we do get the side of you know her brother and the other princess manisala where you know manisala she's a very weak and uh soft-hearted person so she does not like it that you know she has to go through with all these stupid regulation politicians and stuff like that and you know she feels relaxed and she could just be herself with the the prince and stuff like that and eventually they fall in love and you know um more on like if they're going co similar to how like the old one does they do cross tasika does end up crossing back to her town with um with king rasima and all this stuff like that they do make it back to her land and then but he does end up going back as he needs to go back to 
take to his kingdom as his kingdom is about to be taken over by Mina's father who is like you know general stuff like that who wants to kick King Rasima out of his throne and take over you know so a lot of things is going on and you know a lot of more stuff will happen later on and little love starts to spark as these two split apart and it does create spoiler it does create um a reunite great alliance between all three kingdoms so um, I obviously know the storyline, I obviously know how it's going to go as I watched the older version already. So we will see how this version turned out. I was only able to watch the first two episodes. I'm going to, I don't know how long, how many episodes they're going to be as Thai dramas. They don't really release that or tell you that. They just come out and you're just kind of like, oh, it's out, you know, watch it. But um, there is a lot of people, they don't really like the fact that, you know, Tick, he is a little bit older for Kimberly. But um, honestly, I think if it's the role, like Kimberly's character character she can play obviously Prince Tassika well she's very stubborn and a lot of the characters that Kimberly has played she plays really well being a stubborn person strong stronger strong and stubborn woman so I think this will fit her really well as for Tick he's played obviously very very good roles where he's rich and all stuff like that you know where he's like he's a very good person he's rich and he's on top and he has a lot of power so I think that the role actually fits him well and for Thai people age is just a number it doesn't really matter to them so we will see how this drama turns out and if you guys want to know what happens later on how this drama is to compare to the other version do let me know i will do a review again when it comes to end to compare the two and to see how the tour they change the story up and all this stuff like that but their wardrobe in this one is a little bit over the top kind of like england style ish but um they have very puffy dress and it complicated for them to walk around but <laughs> you will see how it turns out and they do film in under other spots besides Thailand obviously Thailand does have not have snow well this drama shows us snow so but I don't want to blabber off for too long that is the review of Dundua Harutai and I will see you guys in the next drama review